I like to hike and camp, and I want to tell you about the Mayan apocalypse. <laughs> it's, it's just like Y2K, it looks like we turned out all right. Actually, we did a pretty good. <laughs> but the government wants to tell you, about, scare you to death, saying, oh yeah, they're going to create new things to tell you how things are going to go badly. But I'm going to prepare for the worst, but I'm hoping for the best. Now, being Chinese, we like to eat a lot, so I want to prepare to make sure that the second priority in the list, and they have an app for this, is food. <laughs> All the rest of the stuff that you need, you can get to the local grocery market, you can go to Costco, and there's a whole package you can get, and you're all set. Just go out online, get yourself a pack. I like camping, so I was going to try this out, just in case, you know, things might go wrong for a while, but you never know. So I want to be ready, I want to try all this stuff out. And then when the apocalypse happened, I'm ready to go into the hills of my new Jeep. <laughs> but for those that don't want to prepare very much, we always have the MRE. You can wait for the Red Cross to come around. Chances are, they say it's going to be three days, but... <laughs> you know, with the, trace, with the track record, it's going to take longer. So you want to be prepared with a little healthier food. The freeze-dried is a good option. Mountain House is a huge factory automation system. I actually built a controller to help them out. That's how I found out about all the freeze dry capability. It's really good because it takes all the vegetables and preserves it exactly the same. But the problem is the selection isn't that great. And you need to chase it down. You notice there's some like, alcohol to the right there. <laughs> so, if you're <laughs> so you want to make sure when you're selecting your food groups right. <laughs> so. <laughs> so as long as you have listed with this as a food group, you're doing okay. Now, I want to make sure I have a last meal just in case. And it will be a last meal because the whole industrial supply chain is going to go down for a while. And be, until then, we're going to be talking about this last meal. Everybody has a definition, so you better figure out what it is right now and get ready. <laughs> um, unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> Restaurants don't like to prepare things six months in advance. <laughs> so this is their answer for prepared meals. I wanted to go and get us something, you know, six months from now, I'm going to eat it, and this is their answer. <laughs> now, fortunately, your tax dollars is spent, millions of dollars have been going on ever since the 60s to prepare that food for you. But I found out from an astronaut that I knew that they don't actually eat the stuff from the, from the NASA gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> They get their own meals prepared exactly the way they want. You, in fact, you know, the Koreans get kimchi, the Japanese astronauts get their own sushi, the Russians even have a little vodka. Although I don't know exactly what they name it up there, but I know that in the case, that's this. So now having a food sealer is not the same thing as what NASA does. When you're an astronaut, they seal it, and the whole idea behind all this is besides lose, getting rid of the weight, is because they, they have water up there, they have to get rid of the moisture, and the moisture is there. You want to get rid of the moisture in order to get out all of the food organisms that are still there. So the best way to do that is to get all the water out when you seal it. So how do you do that? You can boil it. Well, you can take it in outer space and all that. So I invented a new, there's a whole new system. That's a control panel for my little easy bake oven from the future. <laughs> it controls temperature, pressure, and the whole idea behind what I'm doing is to take all the, the, the moisture out of it. Now, you can do this, and you, we use this in the laboratory to get all the water out. Unfortunately, it's only for creating pharmaceuticals and powders and things like that, and you can scale this up to the size of a room. So in order to do a freeze dryer, you can, I use a vacuum pump, pump from uh, Harbor Freight, you know, some condenser, the, the, the vacuum chamber is a glass jar, the heat is a little infrared light, and you can actually build one of these things and, and put your own recipe in there. And it doesn't need fancy nitrogen or any of that. You can just use fire, dry ice. You freeze the stuff really fast, and that's what the whole freeze drying is all about, right? You can use for the, the flash drying, and then you get a chunk of frozen food. You go to your local 7-Eleven, get some freeze dry, and you're all set. You're able to create your own food. You don't have to have all the problems with the salt and all of this stuff and your own custom food that you can then go and be ready for the apocalypse. <laughs> so let me know if you have any recipes. <laughs> all right, thank you. <laughs>